going to have something really super special happening in these two hours so stay with us. John Cullen has designed this gorgeous sweater just for you made in Ireland. It is a QVC exclusive and it is our today's special value. And when I take a look at the sweater, when you hear John's inspiration of the vines and the gardens and even the butterflies of Ireland, you understand that this is a must have moment for all of us that have gone through a long, hard winter. Let me take you through the colors. This is today and today only at this price. This is St. Patrick's Day 2015. It is the first time since 2009 we've done a three quarter length sleeve, which means if you're petite, it works. If you're tall, it works. And if you're somewhere in between, it works for you too. We have it in a beautiful spring green. Isn't this a gorgeous color? Look at that collar. Again, three easy payments of 33.32. I said on my Facebook page, I am crazy about this yellow. I don't have an Irish sweater in this color, so you know which one I'm getting. That gorgeous, beautiful sunlight yellow. The first one being a stunning leaf green. Soft gray. This looks like the rocks in the Burren, a famous part of Ireland where those beautiful wildflowers grow. It's just gorgeous. Of course, we had to do our classic natural because that is the color of the true Aran sweater. But if you're ready for an Easter sweater or the perfect springtime jacket, there is your gorgeous light coral. And for the first time ever, we've never done this color before. It is brand new. It's the beautiful marine blue made in Ireland of merino wool, made to be a stylish, a warm, but a perfect transition into springtime sweater. And John Cullen, come on in John of Aaron Crafts. It's your inspiration that brings this beautiful sweater to life. We Hi, love it and a happy Hi, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Day. Mwah. Good to have Great you here. Great privilege to be back again, Jane. Thank you. So I hear that it is a long, hard winter and then the celebration of the earth in the springtime that led you to design this beautiful sweater. Yeah, we had a long, hard winter as well, but I think you had a somewhat harder one. Maybe a little yeah. more snow and <laughs> yeah. ice this side ice. of the Atlantic. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, absolutely. So what is your inspiration behind this exclusive it, to us sweater? Yeah. It, it, it was this evolution. I, I said, right, we've got to get away from winter. So what are we going to do? Let's try and look forward to spring, into a happy spring. And in fact, what we tried to do here is, well, uh, you know, but a fair attempt, I think, was to incorporate what happens early in spring. I think what we, one of the things we have is vines start to grow. Mm -hmm. So we have this vine here, which begins to grow here, as we can see, as it leaves its winter prison, as it were, and grows to the light and the warmth of spring. And this is a real, a real vine in that it is actually true, truly a three-dimensional vine. Uh, grows through the cable here, which we have in every garden. Uh, a little bit further, further in here, we have a quite a deep concentrated cable system. And that's like, it's a braided cable, a braided cable such as we would have in a garden as the rivers begin to flow again and creeks begin to flow again after being in prison for the All winter. All that melting, we All love the it. All the melting, but that is nourishing water. Uh, and the other little, small little thing we have here, one of the things I can remember my father, God rest him, oh. was a very keen gardener. Mm -hmm. So I did, the, I did a lot of the digging and he did a lot of the talking. <laughs> <laughs> Getting, getting the spuds in before St. Patrick's Day, etc. But one of the things, he used to get excited when he saw a butterfly. A butterfly. Okay, yeah. Uh, even though they might eat his cabbage, he still got excited. But So I said, we, we've got to get something in here which is a butterfly type spring inspiration. So the braiding here, which you see here, we actually split this. So as a metaphor for a butterfly's wing as it emerges from its cocoon, its winter cocoon on its maiden flight in the garden. Oh, so isn't it beautiful? That's I mean, one for you, Dad. That's <laughs> the story. And yeah. you know, when we first started working on this today's special value, and we knew of John's heritage with his father, the gardener, and the butterflies coming, we said, make us something that we can wear so fashionably, because that's what's beautiful yeah. about this today's special value, and yet still gives you the beauty of merino wool. And stay tuned, because John has some amazing images from Ireland that takes you on the journey to this sweater. But what 
I love about it from a fashion point of view, because let's face it, John, you're famous here at QVC <laughs> for your gorgeous Aaron sweaters, is that this really is that springtime Aaron sweater. This is something that you'll wear with pearls and wear on Easter Sunday sure. with a beautiful dress. This is something you'll pop on over your slacks and your, yep. your blouse for work, and you'll look like you almost have an elegant little suit jacket. This is something like gorgeous Jessica, by the way, big things coming from Jessica tonight, that you'll put on over your denim and company capris and a pretty top. And then it becomes your spring jacket. But it's only <clears> here at QVC. And the elements in the sweater from instead of ribbing, there's cabling at the cuff and at the bottom of the sweater so it's not hugging your hip line. The collar is absolutely stunning. John could have made a very small collar. He gave us this gorgeous shawl collar that truly frames the face. And then what I love about that is it really balances the yeah. hip and the thigh area. So you're ending up with a sweater that is fashionable. It turns heads. It's unlike anything that we've ever done before. John's never done a value of the day that had a three quarter length sleeve nope. to it. And this is on three easy payments of $33.32 for this St. Patrick's Day 2015. So, John, you Only my 23rd. To, uh, it's only your 23rd. Uh, all, all. Only your 23rd, <laughs> my friend, John Cullen. <laughs> we have some beautiful images to show you that really, again, were the inspiration behind this awesome sweater. So we're gonna pop those up on the screen. And John, talk us through these images that you brought from yeah. Ireland. Well, this, this particular one was uh, literally midwinter with the sun doesn't get much higher than that in Ireland at that time of year. So as you can see, even there, there's the semblance of little buds beginning to happen. You know, this, this was probably, mid, uh, probably a little bit later than midwinter, middle of January. Uh, so the sun is a little bit higher. Here we have, this is represented here with this kind of tangle of grass as it begins to emerge from the snow. We get snow as well. <laughs> Not as much as you guys, but we, uh, we don't think about that in <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Um, and then this last <coughs> image yeah, is but, beautiful. Yeah. Well, this last last one is it's it's again it's the river beginning to fro flow freely okay. again after its winter entombment, as it were, in ice. But actually, I jumped because there's one more, which really yep. is the inspiration for that yep. vine cable yep. that you showed us early yep. on. Yeah. We would get uh, this is the kind of ivy you'll get growing on period houses at home. Plus, it grows in the woods around them, uh, and it's it's a little bit of an evergreen, but not quite. So it begins to really come to life early spring. Right. So there we have the vine climbing back up to the light. And then what For you that. have is the story behind the sweater, <clears throat> but you also have something that is gorgeous on the body. I just have actually one of the tanks from yesterday's today's special value. That's the beauty of merino wool. You don't have to have layering pieces underneath it. And let's do colors again, because all of them were inspired by this St. Patrick's Day 2015. I have the extra small. This is not an oversized Irish sweater like we've done in the past. Sure. This nope. is really true meant to, to be more of a fashion sweater. So <clears throat> my advice is stay true to size. I'm wearing my normal QVC size, you should too. And if you're new to QVC, you can either call us or look on the screen and we yep. give you the chest measurement so you'll be able to order your size. But first of all, we have this beautiful spring green and the, or leaf green. And this just is exactly what we all need in our wardrobe. It is just the color that the grass is going to start to look like. Yep. And then look at all that gorgeous cabling on the back and this fine merino wool. John, I'm in love with the sunlight yellow. Sunlight I is think gorgeous. It is so pretty. I don't wear that much yellow and I, tr I, I mm. just can't get enough of this. This is my color. This is what I'm getting and over 300 of you have already dialed in and we do have extra extra small through 3x but remember those extra extra smalls are usually the first to go when we've done this exclusively for you on QVC. This soft gray is so pretty because this is a heather. The rest it's of them it's, are it's, solid it, but exactly. this is a this heathered is a two, yarn. Two color. Yeah. And it just reminds me of the rocks that yeah. you would see in Ireland with all oh, the beauty yeah, of the uh, flowers yeah, as, around uh, it. Exactly, or as the water splashes over it. You know, that's and then the natural. The we have to do natural. This is the classic Aaron color. And what about the yellow? Oh, sure, yes. It's actually quite a stark difference. There's the yellow that yep. you can see. It's a true sunlight yellow. Yep. So, so pretty. And then there's your natural. This is the classic Aaron color. You cannot go wrong. Then we get into the real fashion colors, and these may be the first to go. So we have this in light coral. It is so flattering on every skin tone. But Jerome, my producer, was telling me the color a lot of you are jumping on is the brand new marine Green. blue 
We've never had this shade before <laughs> on a sweater from John as a value of the day. And a lot of people in America don't realize that the Saint official Patrick's blue. color of Ireland yeah, is blue. St. Patrick's, Patrick's blue. blue. And look yeah. at our models in this. I mean, this becomes the sweater, like I said, you wear as your spring jacket, you wear as a little uh, blazer look to work. You put on with a floral skirt and you wear it to church on Easter Sunday. Yep. It is fashion and history. And then the beauty of merino wool, which we'll have to get into in a moment, combined <clears throat> on three easy payments of $33.32. 500 have already been ordered. We're going to run off and say hi to Mary Kate, a perfect name Absolutely. on this St. Patrick's Day. Hi, Mary Kate. Welcome <laughs> to QVC. How are you? I'm good, Jane. How are you? We're Happy wonderful. St. Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Please meet my friend Thank John you. Cullen. Hi, John. Hi, Mary Kate. How are you? So Happy St. Patrick's I'm good. Day. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Same to you. Thanks so, what very color much. did you get? I got the yellow. Oh, I love the sunlight yellow. I re and I'm not a super yellow person, Mary Kate, but I have to say this is so flattering, and it is so so pretty. I thought the same thing. I don't normally wear yellow. I'm uh, blonde, and it doesn't usually look good on me, but it's pale enough, and I like the way That's that pale. it looks on you. I thought I'd try the yellow. Thank you. And I don't have yellow, sure. so you if you've fought Irish sweaters before, we mm -hmm. probably love getting a brand sure. new shade. But yes, I don't have any yellow either. So what brings you to St. Patrick's Day on QVC, Mary Kate? Have you bought from us before? Oh, yes. Every St. Patty's Day in <laughs> Rosa Tralee. And you've had some sweaters from John before? And several, yes. Oh. So what brings you back for another fashionable one tonight? Oh, I guess I'm, you know, addicted to Irish sweaters and uh, having been to Ireland myself many years ago and hopefully we'll get back again and uh, I just feel like it's a part of home. Oh, wonderful. Well, you know, Years, a few years back, we were in Dingle, and we were in a beautiful knitwear shop, and there were John Cullen sweaters, and uh, this <laughs> one wouldn't be there, Mary Kate, because he made this just for us at QVC. It is an exclusive, so you really are getting something so special. Yes, it's very exciting. Oh, thank you. Well, I love that we love the same color. Enjoy it, and this is going to bring on spring. You'll love wearing it. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mary Kate. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mary Kate. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, John. But Bye, what's Kate. nice, John, is, you know, we call them turtlenecks. Do you call them that in yes, Ireland? Yes, indeed. Okay, yep. so you yep. could throw a turtleneck yep. on with yep. this and your, your heavier slacks because I hate to say the word S-N-O-W, but there's supposed to be some wet stuff that's snowy this Friday. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could still do this with your turtleneck and your jeans and your boots. I mean, it really becomes that sweater that's so, so versatile. Let's go through the colors okay. and talk about really your um, thought behind bringing this palette to QVC. Well, so this one we're calling our beautiful leaf green. It's leaf green. What I like about the leaf green, or indeed a lot of these lighter colors, is with merino wool, it, it diffuses color very well. So in fact, it goes right through the garment. It's same in the front, same in the back. And color, lighter colors sometimes get lost on, on in the early days. With new, this is new dyeing technology. So it's new. this is new dyeing type with new colors. It's beautiful. Then we have sunlight yellow, and many of you are falling in love with this. In fact, the two popular favorites on this St. Patrick's Day 2015 are the new marine blue and the sunlight yellow. I mean, that is just something that you can wear with anything, your grays, your navy, yep. black right now, sure. um, all the florals that are out for spring and summer. And then, like I said, come next fall, when it's getting a little dreary again, you've got this beautiful sweater to wear. Then yep. we have that really soft gray that we're calling, again, soft gray. Soft gray. And when we get close, you can see that that is uh, heathered. So there's yeah, two it's, shades it's, of gray It's a melange, there. two shades, yeah. Beautiful with your silver. Pop with a great, you know, bright pair of pants like Sean showed you in Pam style. There's the soft gray. Have to do natural, right, John? Uh, absolute necessity. Yeah, must be. We must have a natural. Uh, in fact, natural is for us. There's been a huge growth in natural in fashion just now, so it has to be there. And it's a nice warm natural. It's not a yellowy natural, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. It's one. And it's a great way to start for yeah. the first time if you've never sure. had John sweaters. Then we have the light coral. That is so flattering. That's the one that Jessica's wearing. I mean, it doesn't matter your coloring. You're going to be gorgeous in the light color, like coral. And then this is marine blue. We've never had a blue like this before. 
Look at the cabling on the back. Lots I of detail. love that fashion meets tradition yes. in this beautiful sweater that's about a dollar a day on Easy Pay. Three easy payments of $33.32. Nearly a thousand have been ordered, and we're going to say hello to Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Welcome to QVC. How are you? I'm good. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Meet my friend John. Hi, nice to meet you, John. Hi, Deborah. Lovely meeting you, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yes. So I was so excited to see the sweaters tonight. I've been looking for uh, Aaron Craft sweater and a cardigan and natural, and there it was. So I was really happy. And do you like the fashionable three-quarter length sleeve, Deborah? Because oh, it works that's, that's on everybody. Yep, that's my favorite length for jewelry and jewelry, just covers yes. the upper, you know, parts of my arm I don't like, and just perfect. And I think this is an Erin sweater. Like we said, it is merino wool. This may be your 10 month out of the year sweater and one of those weird summery nights, if it ever gets very chilly, as sometimes <laughs> mm, it can, okay. you're gonna be reaching for this again, Deborah. Exactly, well, it's already, I've heard it's gonna get down to freezing in the evening the next week. So uh, hopefully if it comes, but if not, I'm sure we're, we're due for at least one more snow. We, it seems, we, it seems we always get a little surprise snow in April, so I'm yes. sure it'll come yeah. in handy. And then, you know, because of its collar and the sleeve length, think of it as your little spring, spring cardigan, early spring summer. jacket. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Deborah. Great. And I hope you plan on having a party with us all day long on QVC. We're here for 19 straight hours. I watched hours. a lot last year. I plan to do it again this year. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Lots of new in this midnight hour, so stay with us. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Deborah. Bye-bye. Thanks, okay, Deborah. Good night. Bye-bye. Yep. Yeah. I also want to mention, with over a thousand gone, is that the beautiful inspiration of the butterfly on the pocket inspired Eve Harborn to do a beautiful sure. pin pendant. I'm actually wearing two of them as a pin. Our girls are wearing them as a pendant. I actually have my pick of the show from Stephen Walsh on, but these are available at QVC.com. Uh, they were kind of a little sneak peek I had on my Facebook page. All the colors in the sweater are represented by the gemstones, and that's available from your representative. We'll show that on the screen in a moment. Before we run out of time, talk about how rare, how beautiful merino wool is to a garment like yeah. this. Merino, merino wool, it's, it's a worsted wool, which I don't want to get too technical, but it, it, merino wool is the most expensive and the most difficult way, but it also is the best quality. But it's also in, merino is the best, is the best worsted wool you can get. There isn't a better one. Right. It, it takes other, color beautifully. It'll take color. And it's not itchy next no, to your exactly. skin. And here are the shades one more time. So here is your beautiful spring leaf green. A wonderful way to have a green that's maybe not in the mm -hmm. palette that you've done before. Everybody is loving the sunlight yellow. Anytime you see sun and light and yellow together, this oh, is going to make you happy. Spring. So springy. Yeah. This is soft gray. So if you love to have a sweater that you can wear with your blacks, with your prints, this is beautiful. I love that our last caller, she said, I had to get a new sweater today and I wanted to get the natural. <laughs> That's something you'll be wearing forever. Then you have your beautiful coral. We're calling this one light coral, light coral. but it really has a lot of depth it has, to it. Depth. It's so yep. pretty. And then, first time ever, we've never done this color before. John shocked everybody by saying the official color, color of Ireland is? is blue. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's blue. blue. So that blue is brand new. Yep. And remember that that blue and the coral and all the colors are only here at QVC because John designed, inspired by his beautiful Irish garden, this sweater with over a thousand ordered is only here today on QVC. So if you'd like to see more of it, go to QVC.com. You can see we started extra, extra small, and then we go all the way up to 2XL. That palette of color is only here at QVC, and you also might see the butterfly. So like I said, Eve Harborn and her family inspired by the colors of the sweater and the story of the garden on the St. Patrick's Day did a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. I wrote a little blog about the evolution of this today's special value and asked you, what's your favorite color? Clearly mine, duh, is that beautiful yellow. So check out my Facebook. You can certainly click like and tell me, did you get it? What color did you get? Because I am loving the yellow. And then of course there's Stephen Walsh. Speaking of Stephen Walsh, 
The necklace that I'm wearing is something that has a beautiful inspiration. It's something that we have never done before. It's the tree of life, and believe it or not, every single one of those little shamrocks